So learning and unlearning, I think there's a very close line yeah. because you don't know, then you know. So it's yeah. like you've learned something and you're learning to unlearn. Yes. Okay? <laughs> Just bear with me. Is that how people feel mm-hmm. or respond to something mm-hmm. and you're around them is not on you. Mm. It's not your fault. Mm. I say this specific, I don't know if it's an empath thing, but somebody mm. told me it's an empath thing mm. or my our attachment said whatever the yeah. hell. Yeah. But it's like, if there's a change in mood, I notice it. Babe, 100 but Maybe it's an empath thing. Uh, yeah, mm. I notice even a change in energy, even mm. a fakeness. Mm. Someone asks me, how are you? How is work? How is, I'm just like, this bullshit. Mm. So, or if somebody, their mood changes and me, the first thing I'll, I'll ask is like, what have I done? Mm. What have I done? Okay. And sometimes I respond to it by either being like um, dismissive okay. or defensive. Okay. Because I'm like, the fuck? Okay. Or I now get into my overthinking. Mm. So before I would go and try to figure out, is everything okay? Like, do you, can we talk about this? Yeah. Da, 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 da. And now I'm just um, starting to, what I'm trying to unlearn is that. Mm. Like okay. what they, what. What people are feeling has nothing to do with you. Mm. All right. Something that I would love to unlearn is asking for help or asking for mm. things from people um, hmm, makes you look like you are unable to stand for yourself. Mm. And, and this is because I am at a very big age. I am a grown up. I have a family to take care of. Um, so I feel like I need to be able to handle all of that myself mm. without having to ask for help. So you're unlearning asking for help? Or no, unlearning I'm unlearning. Not, want, not wanting to ask feeling for like help. Asking, yeah, feeling like oh, asking for help, help is too much. Makes, makes it look like I can't handle can't, my shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. You said working on myself is, work, is it's working, not working, working for against me. me. Exactly. It's working, it's for, working for you. Because mm. that is something I'm relearning now or unlearning. Unlearning, for example, even like even when you meet new people. Oh, Ivy, um, uh, tell me about yourself. I'm really unlearning talking about what I do. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I start off by talking about what I am. I'm happy, I live out loud, I'm a, I'm, I'm a proud mom, whatever. Mm. As opposed to, I'm a content creator, um, Samsung uh, uh, award-winning. Mm-mm. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Before we start, I want to say a big what's up and thank you to Lemonade Finance for sponsoring this video. If you live in the UK, in the US and Canada and you're thinking of sending some money back home, Lemonade Finance is for you. With Lemonade Finance, you can make instant transfers at zero fees and at the best FX rates, all while enjoying great customer service. Click the link in the description box below to download the Lemonade Finance app and enjoy 10 British pounds cash back on your first transaction above 100 pounds. This holiday season, to Makitu. Send money home for free with Lemonade Finance. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on Over 25. <laughs> to my right, I have Just Ivy. And to my Africa. left, Africa. Oh, <laughs> it's no longer Just Ivy, there's something else. You're not just Ivy. <laughs> I'm not just Ivy. Just Ivy Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and to my left, I have Jules Ha. And my name is Shiki. It's nice to have you guys back. We are still one man down. Lonzi is busy. Yeah. She's doing the Lord's work. <laughs> vacation is finished. She's not on vacation. <laughs> vacation is finished. <laughs> yeah, but we miss her and we wish her well. Feel yeah. free to leave a nice sweet message for Lonzi in the comments. And for those who don't know what you're talking about. And for those who are wondering what I am on about, our sweet, sweet Lonzi had her first son not too long ago. And she's now at home, basically keeping him alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moms are so morbid. Oh my God. The child, to be a one year old, the child didn't die. The child didn't die. Oh my God. That was my first thought. Like, in fact, I remember saying, I think I've kept a child alive, alive. for a year. Yeah. yeah. Mm. A lot of you say that. I think it's just mm. traumatic. Quite. Yeah. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for being here. If you're new here. Please feel free to subscribe right over there. It is free. We would love you to join our community of 154,000. 
So today we want to have a conversation, not about the things that we have been learning, but about the things that we are unlearning in our journey and the things that we would love to unlearn in our life journey. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, and I think it's going to be a nice, sweet conversation. I feel like it's going to be one of those conversations where we learn things about each other. We learn very many things about each other on this set. And I think we can get going. Yeah. And we've learned a lot about each other on yeah. Over 25. Mm. Yeah, and we still do to this yeah, day. Yeah, I always just like, really? Really? Yeah. That's yeah. what that's what, what I didn't know that about I you. Know that about, like what I thought, you know, that's that was like ten years ago, hun. Yeah. <laughs> sour sour ladies, are we ready to start? Mm. Ready. Okay, like I mentioned, some of these I think we'll probably need to call out the ones that we feel like we are actively unlearning mm. and the ones that we would love to unlearn mm. because we are still on this journey. Mm. Okay. Because sometimes you would you want to unlearn something or you want to get rid of a certain thought or way of thinking, but you're not yet there. It takes time. Okay. So the first thing that we would like to unlearn or are unlearning is that failure is not the end of the world. And I think so something that I mentioned, um, failure is something that I fear. I fear, I fear, I fear, I fear. You too. Yeah, you too. Mm. Yeah. How do you feel about failure? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I, mean, I don't want to jump in because if I get in there, man. <laughs> How much time do we have? I don't know if we have time. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, but I fear holds me back me a lot. And I'm so even shocked much. for I to say me too. Because mm. if fear ho- fear is something you're scared of, mm. then I need a leave from your book. Because mm. I, I don't push through. You manage it, it nicely. I, I, yeah, you manage it well. Mm. You still push. Like me, I'll. Like for example, the day when I called my channel my tiny little channel, that was because mm. I was like, I'm not competing with over 25. Mm. And. It, this was during the pandemic, and I wanted yeah. to open my own channel. So I was like, in case I fail, me a black, but it it's was just tiny. Mm. See, it only it's tiny. Mm. And then glow up beauty bar, my side hustle. Yes. I never ever. Um, never used to push it. I never used to push much. it on my page. Like mm. I do want guys to know it's me in case it fails. Mm. Yeah, oh and gosh. and it's, uh, it's it's actually um, a follower, uh, one of my followers who was like, you need to just stop. There's something wrong you're doing here. Yeah. I don't know how they put it, but they're like, Julia, you've called yourself tiny little channel. And then, oh, Glock Beauty Bar, the bio was just a small stop shop, beauty stop shop shop, mm. stop stop, pot stop, stop shop, whatever. <laughs> but I know it was just a tiny, da, 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 you know, you know, we're just, we're just, we're just trying. We're just trying. And oh, she's like, yeah. she's like, I, I, I don't think you should talk like this about yourself, da, da, da. And I was like, that she oh, that. fuck. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Man, and yeah. I think first the problem also with failing is you're not failing in your house in, in, by yourself. You're failing in front of 154,000 yeah, subscribers, yeah. in front of thousands of people who 100%. are probably rooting for you and some who are really actually not. Mm. I think that that's where my crippling fear when it comes to failure is like now I'm disappointing a whole fucking, yeah. not just like Africa, a whole continent. A whole continent. I'm yeah. like, ah, fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, mm. it's still something even for me that cripples me, especially if it's something that I need to put out there. You know, the mm. way the way um, Jules will say, the way you used to say, I want to start my own channel. Mm. But now that saying it to everybody and then it fails, yeah, it's very mm. difficult. So for me, I, I would say it falls in the category of something that I want to unlearn. I don't think I am actively unlearning it. So I post quotes like, do it scared. Mm. Yes. Such things. Like I, That's the kind of mindset I'm trying to channel, but I don't think I'm there yet. I like what what you said. I I think also what I would add to that is, okay. Mm. So I'm those people who I'm constantly feeling, and I don't. I I know this episode it up exposed. Me, I'm writing these things down. I'm like, Sasa, what are we doing? Like, I'm bearing my my God. I'm just like, my God. It's a tough one. Again, just trying to articulate myself Mm. uh, properly. I think in unlearning that failure is not the end of the world. I'd like to just also just unlearn and relearn the what the definition of failure is, because I don't think the definition of failure can be, it, it, the opposite of success is failure. Ah, yes. Okay, I agree. okay. Be- I agree. Yeah, because um, I'm those really people who, and like now Julia, who said, tiny little, no, I'm there, Africa. Africa! I want to start a youth club. Wow. I want to, but I've not failed. Yeah. I'm yeah. still in the process of getting there, I've not failed. Mm. And in that failure, or in that mistake, whatever, what really gets me going is that at least I have learned. So okay. it's not that we failed. It's that, okay, we tried, we learned, and then we go opposite. So I, I, okay. 
That's what so then I don't think you mm. have an issue with failure, babe. Mm. You might. I think fearing failure doesn't mean you have an issue with it. Everyone fears it. Mm. But you, the way you're doing it, mm. we need to take a leaf from that book. Mm. In the sense where it's like, this is a learning. I think we all know it. Yeah. I know failure is yeah. not a failure. It's just a lesson learned. Mm. Da, da, da. But then, qua ground. Qua ground, just application. Like, actually, I can't do this. Like, yeah. It's crippling. Mm. Like me, my, my doubts cripple my actions. Mm. Yeah. I become 100%. unmotivated mm. to do something because of fear. Yeah. But I have to push through it. Mm. I have to push through it and be like, but they, we are going to bed with failure. Like, yeah. this Oof. is going to be my bitch or I'm her bitch, whatever it is. Mm. But we have to do this because mm. there's no way around it. Mm. Yeah. There's no way. How else do you bloody and grow? And like, there's no other one, way. And then happen once. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Mm-hmm. So you will push through this one. And then there's, there's another, another, another mountain, mountain the another corner, mountain. Yeah. And another and another. But maybe mm-hmm. by that time you'll have built some sort that of resilience. Resilience. Yeah. Because you can succeed or fail. It's yeah. either or. Mm-hmm. Right? Or be mediocre. It's yeah. either or. But whatever stage you're at, see there's a learning. Even mm-hmm. in success, mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. lessons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In but even to get successful, there means they have to, there has to be have been there has to be some something. failures. Mm. Yes, or at least very hard tests. I, I read it in I, I was I was reading The Alchemist recently. And oh, Coelho. Yeah. First fiction book I've read in I don't know how long. Mm. But one of the things that um that is mentioned in that book is the closer you get to the thing you're trying to get to, the harder the obstacles yeah. are. So you might power through this first one and you're like, mm, okay, maybe I can do this powering through mm. thing. And then an even bigger thing is waiting for you. Mm. Oh, it says that I need to read that book again. Mm. Actually, it's one of my favorite. I have the book and the DVD in my house. Oh, wow. And the reason I read it is because two books that I had read recently. It's the recently. one about the traveler, isn't it? Yes, the it boy is. She yeah. yeah, okay. Two books I read mm. mentioned everybody needs to read The Alchemist and not once in their lives. I think mm. I need to It's read one of those again. books that you need to keep mm. reading. And it's very over the small. Course. It's small. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You can read it like in a it's week. It's an easy book. Yeah. 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 About um, what you said about uh, The Alchemist and, and how. Y- the book teaches us that sometimes when you're just about to get to your goal, mm. harder ob- obstacles are thrown your way. Mm. What if there are none? Because sometimes, and it was an alive, I was with, with, um, with yeah. Murugi yesterday. Hi, Murugi. Yeah. That woman started her shopping months. I told her, you know, in my head, yeah. I'm thinking, you probably thought about it for a long time. She said it took months and it was something simple. So I, I'm starting to think that sometimes mm. we are taught that, you know, nothing good comes um, easy without struggle. Yeah. Without struggle. But yeah. maybe sometimes yeah. it comes easy. It comes easy. Oh, can I even say something to mm. that? Still from the alchemist. When something is meant for you, the universe conspires to mm. make it to, to make it here yeah. or yeah. to bring it closer to you. So perhaps that's how we can Maybe. look at it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps that's okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I didn't want to leave here thinking. Thinking to, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a very good point you made. I also subscribe to that. Mm. I don't think, I think it's, it's there's a, there's a, toxic messaging around that. Mm. Like, like, you must work so, so hard, hard exactly. for you to get something. And when something comes easy, you start to doubt. Yeah. Oh, me, I question. You start to question. Yeah. You're like, I, how come I've not suffered? Yeah. Yeah. How did I find this house so easily? Mm. How did I find this job so easily? Mm. How did I find this partner mm. so easily? Mm. How did we grow so exponentially? Mm. You know, but they, they, it's just, I think, they, mm. I, think they, yeah. I think before that, there was probably some personal obstacles. Yeah. Mm. And then when those blocks disappeared, things just fall. Just fall. Fall. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So a lot of these things are context contextual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to look at where you are. At. There are things that will be easy for that will come easy for you. Yeah. There are things that will not come easy for you. Yeah. 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 I agree, and that's something I'm unlearning. Toxic uh, yeah. positivity. Oh yes, we mentioned it. Or I'd love to unlearn episode. toxic positivity. Yeah. yeah. Where you just. Yeah. Even I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You don't have to be. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, Maybe they good vibes. Maybe they good yeah. vibes, or or even. Okay, but it's not opposite. Or even within in those struggles, you're like, it's fine, everything is fine. Like, yeah. no, it's, it's okay. It's actually not fine. It's not fine. And, and, it's, okay. and it's okay. And it's okay for And it's okay. So I don't know if it's talks about, or, or I don't even know what it was. Yeah. So, I don't know I get what things don't have to come hard. Yeah. Sometimes imagine, here they are. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, completely. Even the other day, um, Ivy was congratulating me on my following growing. And I was telling her, I've been thinking for a whole week, there must be an issue on Instagram. I was thinking maybe it's Imagine. bots. I was like, maybe there are bots that have come Shiki. to my page because my growth was a bit more than usual. Oh, so I was like, not a bit. It was okay, exponential. It was, it was more beautiful. Than usual. It yeah. was such a beautiful thing to watch. I was just like, I I don't believe this. Yeah, you're doubting. No, I didn't want to celebrate and then tomorrow <laughs> I wake up and then they've gone they down by 10 Hey, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Just wait a bit. Be safe. 
I was so Let's to tell everybody. Oh my god, I'm so engaged. engaged. Uh-huh. And then and then at the wedding the you guy see. comes <laughs> the five boys. <laughs> Let me tell you. Just wait until the wedding, then you're like, just wait. Just last year. And you post after the wedding. You post after the wedding. I don't know. My days. Speaking of Brooke, we were talking. I was talking to Lydia the other day, and yeah. we were just like, you see how she does like a lot of live engagements mm. of her day. Mm. I struggle with that. Mm. Like to be like, I am at the movies. Yeah. I am at Ivy's. Yeah. I am with Shiko. Yeah. I struggle with that because of that same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what if? Just chill. Let's post wait. after. Just let's wait. Maybe it's that thing of being risk averse. <laughs> And mm. risk. What's what are the oh, financial terms? Oh, a risk terms? taker. Oh, risk, risk When investments, yeah. there's somebody who is like risk averse. Yeah. They risk what? Risk mm. what? You may think I'm in that risk averse. Mm. I'm like chill, kidogo. Mm. I'm waist deep in the risk averse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we must unlearn these babes. Yeah, maybe. I that's mean, it, I think it was a coping things. mechanism for something. Yeah. Mm. And then now it's like, listen, I don't know how this brain of ours works. It's like yeah. it does a. Apply to all. It's yeah. like no, nigga. It was for my childhood. <laughs> now we are good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think where I relate with. Lydia. Hi Lydia. Hi. Is she's sharing her journey. I'm also sharing my my journey. So it, a lot of us don't share the journey and, and again it's media that is put to our faces. Mm. Don't talk about your next move. Mm. Talk about it when you're there. Mm. You know. Okay. Yet, exactly. Don't, don't explain. Yeah. 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 Yet that's what motivated me to do what it is that I do. The fact that mm. for a whole three years people yeah. don't talk about nothing and then you have a house. Why aren't yeah. you telling us Okay. How you did it. Okay. So I think that's why I probably I relate a little bit with Lydia. It's mm. uh, I still struggle with the day in any, but I was just saying, yeah, that thing of yeah. that and sharing thing. Maybe that's why I relate. Thing, she was telling me that because she was I, I called her for advice. I mm. called her for counsel. Mm. And she's like, babe, this is what you need to do. Da, 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 da. Mm. So so that's what that's where I was coming from. Okay. I was I was not that's not, I was not throwing shade at what she does. No, I called no. her. Oh, not shade at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't, was, it didn't come out oh, like okay, that. Okay, didn't okay, it didn't come out like, like that. that. No. no, I was actually calling her because I'm like, babe, I need help with this. Let me figure this thing out. Mm. So she was like, ah yeah, da, 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 da. and I was like, hey, you know, um, but I have to also do it within my I don't know what you're comfortable with. What I'm yeah. comfortable with. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Because it's fun and everything, but then also I still find it weird when somebody is like, oh, hi, is you who? Because you know, somebody yeah. comes and tells you, like, yeah. hi, is yeah. Jane. Because yeah. I saw her on your page yesterday. I'm like, yeah. oh, you're back. How was Mombasa? Oh, I know, right? Uh. Like, wow. Okay. okay. I know, but I guess it's what it's the, I yeah. guess this is the, it's the, life, it's the life we've chosen. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's a good transition to even another point that we have. Um, of unlearning, um, you don't have to overshare on the socials. social media. Okay. Yeah, definitely I something I, I something have been you unlearning. Mentioned. Yeah. yeah, there's lot of lots of things. In hindsight, I would never have shared. I was telling Shiki earlier, even she was going to Shiv. Yeah. And I was asking, would would you do you regret sharing your children? She was very easy. Me, mm. if I could go back, even an eyelash, you would not. The social media will never see my children's faces. Ah, and you see, never. and 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 you saying that really makes me think. There's, I don't think there's one way to social media. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Because whereas you feel that is oversharing. Yeah. When you said that for me, I really don't feel any regret. Yeah. Sharing my kids, yeah. they are a, essentially they're a big part of my brand. Yeah. Yeah. And. I don't feel like I'm oversharing. I still feel like I know where my gate is. But mm. my gate is different from where yours is mm. and where Julia's yeah. is. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah. Mm. A... Sharing relationships. Ah, mm. The things I will never do. Mm. Again. Mm. Me again. I'll share the wedding day. After the wedding. After everything. After the wedding. <laughs> after when you're the honeymoon. I, guy, me, I don't like that. After after even, wedding, even I'll never the... share. I will never share. You will never know. Done. You will never know yeah. what the fuck is happening. If I have another child tomorrow, no one will ever fucking know. No one will know. ever know. <laughs> no one will know. Hey, we'll just we'll just wonder. I I be a menyamaza. And and I'm not. Okay. Is big. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not saying don't share your kids. Just do it. It's just now me now being in the space the way I've been and seeing how yeah. you as an individual change. Yeah. Things happen in your life. Yep. Social media itself changes. Mm-hmm. And then your kids are left bearing. The brand of your decisions. Yeah, I was just like, ah. And also in the beginning, I think I was doing social media for the wrong reasons. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, it was to uh, uh, tick a box or, or, or to 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 grow following and blah blah blah. So mm. I used to assume that because oh, a picture like of the kids like it gets you know ah. a certain amount of let me keep doing this yes, without yes, yes, really yes, yes, thinking. Yes, yes. Nowadays, I one like ten likes. Imagine it's fine. Did I yeah. do it because I wanted to? Did I do it because I was learning something or teaching someone something? Fine. But mm. other than that, you're right. There's no 
there is no strict way to do social media. Mm. Yeah. I think it's just what you're comfortable with. Yeah. And 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 keeping in mind what the consequences of your <laughs> of what you're showing me, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because that's the other thing. Yeah. Mm. That's the thing, yeah. I like I'm learning that one for sure. Mm. I'll okay. do social media my way. That's perfect. Which is ironic because it's social media. I <laughs> 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 the other thing also that um, this mm-hmm. new age of media and how tabloids have changed, whatever I've, I've realized is, I don't believe as much shit anymore. Oh, yes. Believe, yeah. Believe what you're seeing. Like, I, the headlines, I'm like, okay, I, I, I acknowledge it, but yeah. by the time I believe something that is going to hurt someone else, I have really tra- probably done my homework. I just don't believe it as easily anymore. Mm. I don't believe everything that's as posted anymore. Yeah. Uh, and then you know us, we are from the age of when reality TV started, and then now we know how unreal how reality, reality TV, TV is. is. Yeah. Oof. Social media has broken my trust, man. It has really Damn. Broken. Yeah, same guys, same guys. Social media ni highlight me. Mm. Just keep remembering. It's that's really so is. true. Yeah. That is very fucking true. So learning and unlearning, I think there's a very close line yeah. because you don't know then you know. So it's yeah. like you've learned something and you're learning to unlearn. Yes. Okay? Just bear with me. <laughs> Is that how people feel mm-hmm. or respond to something mm-hmm. and you're around them is not on you. Mm-hmm. It's not your fault. Mm-hmm. I say this specific, I don't know if it's an empath thing, but somebody told me it's an empath thing mm-hmm. or my our attachment said whatever the yeah. Hell. Yeah. But it's like if there's a change in mood, I notice it. Babe, hundred percent. That means an empathy. Uh, yeah, mm. I notice even a change in energy, even mm. a fakeness. Mm. Someone asking, "How are you? How is work? How is?" I'm just like this is bullshit. Mm. So, or if somebody their mood changes, and me, the first thing I'll, I'll ask is like, "What have I done? Mm. What have I done?" Okay. And sometimes I respond to it by either being like um, dismissive. Okay. Or defensive, okay. because I'm like the fuck, okay. or I now get into my overthinking. Mm. So before I would go and try to figure out, is everything okay? Like, do you can we talk about this? Yeah. Da, 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 da. And now I'm just um, starting to what I'm trying to unlearn is that, mm. like okay. what they what what people are feeling has nothing to do with you. Mm. All right, if they really want to talk about something and it's something that needs to be. I'm mostly talking about in relationships. Okay, like sometimes somebody's mood can change, and then yeah. you're just thinking. Is it, because I, yeah. is it because in the morning I didn't say goodbye? Yeah. Is it the, you know that thing? Yeah. Okay. So I'm learning. Mm. I'm learning that and saying and telling myself, like I have to actually tell myself, that's on them. If they want to come talk to me, they talk to me because my doors are open. Mm. Wow. Like I have to tell myself that. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be like, is everything okay? Mm. And I can keep asking, is everything okay? Yeah. And I want to make sure everything's fine. Yeah. And I want to know if I fucked up so we can fix it. Mm. Okay. But it's like, I, if I don't know what I've done, mm. fuck it, I'm not going to ask you for you to tell me. Like, come mm. tell me. Mm. Which I think I cannot just say another thing I'm unlearning. Mm. <laughs> Guy, not your exposed. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> passive aggression, I think I've talked about it before. Mrs. Periwap reporting for duty. <laughs> um, like, you know, what happens is when you can't speak up for yourself or you're in a people-pleasing state of mind, mm. what I want to, okay, so what I want to unlearn is passive aggression. Mm-hmm. What I want to learn is effective communication. Mm. Okay. So if something is hurting me, mm-hmm. I'd be like, I want to be able to say it without, like, ah. So what I'll do instead, I'll say something so you understand that I have a problem. Mm, 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 that's mm, not, mm, that, that, that's first of all, that's twisted as fuck. Like, yeah. I'll be like, how can I give an example? Mm. Like, let's say, um, let's say you piss me off. Okay. And then you say, then I'll, I'll, I'll say something like, Oh, interesting. Because last time you said that it's not okay. your thing. Yeah. What you you know? Mm. Instead of saying to show that last something. time, I say when you said it, Mazen is I felt some way. Yeah, I yeah. felt some way. I've never actually. It's hard for me to tell somebody that they've hurt me. Mm. I'll go around, around, round, and then by the time we're coming, to, I should have just said at the beginning. I was not happy with this, this, and this. Yeah. Can we figure this out? Yeah. If they don't want to figure it out, fuck it. And then it comes to mind um, a situation with a friend of mine, mm. and we were t- talking for like two hours, and then something they had said in hour one, and I was just like, and I was like, like but hey. now you. And then she was like, guy, you know me, I was talking about what you did. I was like, oh, okay, it's not so easy. But you see, I was dealing with somebody who I think we have a very good friendship, mm. and we have a very, and she's also emotionally like mature. Yeah. I think even more emotionally mature than me. So 
ah, she's not trying to get dif- of dif- uh, offended. She's mm-hmm. been like, oh, for real. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, yeah, and yeah, I threw a job. Like she, she's like, yeah, she owned okay. up. But then she's like, but I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hurt you or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I'll take notes of that. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. That's interesting. But it has to be genuine. You know, somebody can just do that thing. Of, mm, okay, cool. It also depends on who you're dealing who you're with, like dealing you said. With, yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. And how close you are. For communication to be effective, it has to be two-way. That's right. true. So you can be the effective communicator, but if you're communicating to a wall and a door, it'll it will never be effective, be effective. Which now takes us back to the first point where you said, it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing yeah, to do with you. You've done your part. Yeah. You've released. And I think it's easier for me to communicate my boundaries with people like... I've just met, it's harder for me if we've been friends for longer. Mm. That's when I don't want to offend you. Ooh, That's when. Yes. But we're here, we're budding, budding relationship, budding friendship. Mm. Ah, my friend, you will, you will get clear communication yeah. from me. Yeah, and then also self-awareness really helps um, in someone becoming a, self-com- a good communicator because um, there are times I would realize that, um, and you and I, Julia, are very big on this, that my tone mm. is a bit mm. harsh, that um, the yeah, words that I, I use can, be, are, can be mistranslated. So once you're aware that this is not a common way that people <laughs> like to be communicated to. <laughs> you learn that and then you weird. change. Yeah. And then Imagine. you emulate people like Shiki. Like, yeah. what would Shiki do here? Mm. Bruh. She, you know, she, okay. And Shiki doesn't mute herself. She communicates mm. fitly because, you see, the problem that you and I would end up having is because our tone is policed. Yeah. We'd mute, you get mad. You, you, and you mute yourself. So you don't communicate because you don't offend. But, but you, you're muting to leave this other person. But Shiki doesn't mute. Shiki will still communicate her boundaries mm. nicely. Mm. But you, you leave feeling... Even empowered, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Babe, you, like you, 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 you mute me, I get angry that you're not getting me or you're not whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah okay. then I have to catch myself in that. I mean, let me tell you, for example, today I, I told yeah. you guys I came from this long, long meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in this meeting, there's somebody who asked a question, and I thought that was a very rude tone. Mm. Okay. That they asked the question to mm. the arena. Mm. At the, um, so are you trying to tell us that we have to sit with and I'm like, Nika, why are you being so rude? And this is my boy. First of all, I know him. And then the ch- and it was it was a bit condescending, if you ask me, because mm. it's like you're kind of challenging somebody's authority. Mm. And then this babe responded. What did she say? She said, actually, yeah. Um, you know, da 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 da. She's yeah, me, it's like it's like that condescending Ilim Peter, but she's answering the question. Mm. She, she I was like, I want to be that babe. Mm. Because me, I'll be like, yes. Yes, that's what mm. you need to do. Because you've hurt me, so I'm going to retaliate. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I'd be like, that was a cut tone. You will mm. say? Mm. Me, I won't say. Mm. Me, I'd be like, what about that, you? I think your foot tone a bit cut. Mm. Mm. But also the fact that you said it was a guy, because that's the other thing I've started seeing. Um, I don't know, I don't know when stuff we need to unlearn. Hmm. Sometimes when a woman communicates with me and I feel, mm, I try and think, if a man said the same thing, oh. would I feel, because men don't write with emojis. They don't, if they're communicating what they're communicating. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, so is it because a woman is telling me this? I'm feeling something. So even now, as I type like a man on email, it's full stop. It's not, not exclamation mark or oh. even question mark. Oh. And I'm not asking, I'm You're saying, informing I'm informing. Something. So that's the other thing about also communication. Okay. I'm learning and learning and relearning. Yeah. I'm really going to be thinking about that. Am I feeling this way because of this person being... Like, I don't even know if gender has something to do with it, but I just I wonder. Want, I don't yeah. know why women relate like this softness. Zee. A man will write an email and you'll be okay. But a woman, because there's no emoji and thanks, please, you'll be offended. <laughs> Smiley uh, face, smiley uh, face. Yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I would really love, I feel, no, man, I, I feel like, seen a man, I, I feel, I feel <laughs> that. <laughs> Even sometimes when she responds to emails on our behalf, I'm usually like, mm. Mm. And that woman would just speak like that. She, mm. sometimes they hear messages, but then I know how she will see, but then we always exactly. yeah. explain it all. Yeah. Because yeah. she sometimes will be like, funny. Good, ha ha, lol. And I'm like, why are you being so robotic? Like, like are you really, she, really feeling like it? she is so robotic? Yeah. On text, honestly. Even we are not coming. Can be. Are you available? Where are you? Pull up. I'm like she. Like, he like can, hi. He can really be feeling. How you been? He can really be he feeling. feeling it. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the. Fam. Yeah. That's how you know he's fam. Fam. Oh, okay. That's, That's why I know he's kind. <laughs> fam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Hey. Different Next. ways of communicating. Another yeah. thing we need to unlearn and i think we touched on this julia touched on this but off camera blaming our parents for mm. for doing their best basically i guess yeah. yeah or for doing what they knew when when they were in it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah and i'll open I actually, up the floor yeah i actually yeah. had that as well i've written some down and i was uh-huh. like um 
quit blaming your traumas for everything, but I tie that to childhood. Mm. Um, don't blame, like, it's just, it's a trauma. I, I'm, I'm triggered, you know, like, mm. in fact, when, when, triggered. when triggered came, first came out, I was just like, eh, this Gen Z, they're always being triggered. They're triggered by everything. Nowadays, yeah. I'm like, maybe I get it because I understand, like, I used to be like, some triggers you, like, deal with it, homie. You know, mm. like, don't come tell me how you're triggered. Mm. Yeah. No, my problem. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But now I'm just like, I've actually been experienced, I've experienced when something triggers you and it's like, yo, it takes over. Oh, so damn. a trigger is a trigger. But when I wrote this, I was saying, I don't blame your triggers or your pa- or your parents for everything. Um, there's a conversation I was having with my mom before even I get to that. Let me explain why parents usually are getting a lot of the the hell yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. Is because they say, if you want to know why you are the way you are, 99% of the time, the answer is in your childhood. Yep. And specifically, the ages of zero to seven. Those are your downloading ages. That's where the blueprint of your life is created. Mm. And by blueprint, I mean it's how you react to things, how you mm. respond to things. How, mm. If you want to know why you are the way you are, mm. it's, it's, and it's in those ages. And you see, we were emulating and also responding to how our caregivers were interacting with us yeah. mm. you get yeah so sometimes so i'd find myself going like now when i first learned about this i was like oh my god it's your fault mom mm-hmm. it's your fault dad mm. what you did what you didn't do yeah because it can also be didn't yeah maybe yeah. you didn't hug me enough maybe you did say congratulations enough. Mm. whatever whatever mm. and then it's like wait but they're reacting like that because of Shoshua and Guka. Yeah. And then wait. So then they're like that because of, exactly. you know what I mean? Yep. Generational, generational trauma, trauma is a thing. Yep. Mm. So um, this one time I was speaking to a family, a family, somebody from my family, and we're just discussing certain things and like, yeah, you know, it's because of this, because of this. And I'm like, yo, but they, you need to change that because, I mean, I think you're at the stage where you're finally realizing, mm. but that blaming, it hurts you more. You know how they say forgiveness is not for the other person, it's for you? Yeah. That's how I feel about that situation. Okay. So now, I was talking to my mom the other day and she was like, we were just laughing how, because I had, I had, I had, Wema was taken to her, she, she had to sleep with Wema, mm-hmm. who is my niece, because mm. we were going out with the mom. Okay. A few weeks okay. ago. Okay. So, the next day, I'm like, hey, hey, how was your night with Wema? She's like, hey, let me tell you, me, I was sleeping here mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. my, what does she call her? My car. Yeah. My name's Kikuyu. She, mm. I was sleeping with her, and then she just she woke up and said, Shosho, you are breathing too loudly. <laughs> in your own home. Yeah, in your own bed. No, I think my, my Shosho went to sleep yeah. in her bed. Yeah. Shosho, you're, you're breathing too loudly. <laughs> Shosho, the music on your phone is too loud. It's interrupting me. Uh, yeah. And you know, and my mom was like, hey, you, uh, uh, you know kids, and we, talk, we ended up not talking about how kids absorb everything, yeah. how everything you tell them, it's in a wangia. Mm. And I was telling my mom, yes, because of the ages of zero to seven, mm. she's like, yeah, these are things I'm learning now. And wow. she and she even told me, she's like, Yanni, if I knew what I know now, mm. I'd put all of you back in my stomach, we start again. Mm. And wow. it was, I felt like, I don't think my mom fucked up, to be honest. Like, my mom was a, is a great mom. My dad is a great dad. We've been well taken care of. But you see, yeah. there, there are things they didn't even know they are doing. Maybe shouting at us too much, they mm. don't know. Then they're like, mm. we're disciplining our children. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, whatever. Mm. So so I don't blame. What I, I'm, I'm learning is blaming my childhood for things that I'm struggling with as an adult. Mm-hmm. I am taking ownership and saying, all right, we're going to unpack this shit. Yeah. And I believe that these, you think it goes to that thing I said in that video of ours where I could not find the words and everyone in the comments was trying to find the words for me and you guys really yeah, came through. Good job. Let me tell you my DMs are like, is this what you're trying to say? Yeah. Is this what you're trying to say? Sending me videos, but I was talking about how your greatest pain is like completely out of your greatest despair comes your greatest triumph. Mm. So this thing where I'm like, I need to go for therapy because I don't want to be passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be a people pleaser. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be this, this and this. So for me, it's like, it's opening up other things for me. It's, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's working for me. Me working on myself is working for me, mm-hmm. not against I that. me. I so that. I, I, I can't blame my parents because when my mom tells me about how she grew up, in fact, that same phone call, she was like, you know me, I even used to say, when I get my own kids, I'm not going to be so harsh like my mom now. Mm-hmm. Shosh. Auntie Shosh was so harsh. As of course, mm-hmm. we, uh, she's, the cool. Shosh side. she's cool. Shosh yeah. is cool. Mm-hmm. But Kumbe, when they are kids, mm-hmm. they were so strict. So yeah. my mom now used to give us curfews. We could go out when we wanted. Mm-hmm. 
had it to the point where even me just used to come home because I'm like guy no one yeah. cares no one yeah. like yeah no she still call you mm-hmm. but like it's not in we didn't have to sneak out yeah. we say I'm going to carnival yeah. Yeah. okay dad will drop you yeah okay how will you come back mm-hmm. his money like it wasn't like at, oh my god we need to sneak out oh my god we're going to the devil's den you know yeah. my mom was like remember for, even when my, my girls used to come to my house and change when, before we go out yeah. they, she'd come and tell me ah it's so nice to be young go out and learn how men cheat you so that you're not cheated yeah. you know it. but you don't it. get pregnant you know mm. like so stuff like that so I, i had a good childhood in that sense yeah um i even forget what what i was getting at mm. but not, i think blaming i think not blaming, blaming your pa- parents for everything and understanding oh so saying you see even for my mom she was feeling like she's done the the way she's brought herself it's an improvement from her okay. but there were still some deficiencies of course then even me when i have my kids yeah. i'm gonna be you know reading parenting tips but then my kid at 21 is like you know this but traumatic then, event yeah. i'm like and the way me have they have I like, like, I'm an improvement I'm, yeah. i've tried so yeah. yeah so yeah oh wow well, and i like what you said uh, you said working on myself is work is it's not working, working against me. me exactly it's working it's for working me. for you because mm. that is something i'm relearning now or and learning and learning for example even like even when you meet new people oh ivy um uh, tell me about yourself i'm really and learning talking about what i do and i I'm, 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 i start off by talking about what i am i'm happy i live out loud i'm a, I'm, i'm a proud mom whatever mm. as opposed to i'm a content creator um samsung uh, uh, award winning mm. so i'm really putting myself in the essence of just remembering myself anyway as i'm a, doing, i'm working on myself yeah and it's working for you it's working for you i like that you said yeah. that it's and isn't it so beautiful. sweet like when you have a, a little moment of triumph so that's what i'm saying like this problem sometimes i'm like me start to go up because once you get on the other side you're like damn mm. i feel so good that yeah. i did that yeah, yeah. that is definitely mm. something that i'm doing a lot more of these days mm. and it's just silently those silent trends for if you catch yourself in a situation where for example i'll use this as an example because you you had mentioned it if you catch yourself in a situation where um let's say you're having a conversation with someone and before you say the thing that you you in in a way that you don't want to speak yeah you switch it up and you communicate effectively mm. essentially mm. those small moments nowadays i really clap for myself mm. if i do something in a way that i have been trying to do it i do it just once i'm like okay Good so job. it's possible it's, it's possible, possible. self discovery is fantastic it's such yeah. an interesting thing mm. <laughs> it's, it's quite the journey more often mm. it should quite. start with the self before it goes to other things it's quite the journey yeah oh, wow um something that i am unlearning or i'm t- no something that i would love to unlearn is asking for help or asking for mm. things from people um hmm. makes you look like you are unable to stand for yourself. Mm. And and this is because I am at a very big age I am a grown up. I have a family to take care of. Um so I feel like I need to be able to handle all of that myself mm. without having to ask for help. So you're unlearning asking for help? No, learning, I'm unlearning not want, not wanting to ask for like help. Feeling like asking yeah, feeling like oh, asking for help, help is too much. Makes makes it look like I can't handle can't, my shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, cuz I I don't <laughs> I don't like asking. What are situations help? where one would ask for help? I don't think I know. Um a situation where one would ask for help. Okay. Okay, one that I struggle with quite a lot <laughs> is <laughs> is with my babies. My babies every now and then go to stay with my family. Mm-hmm. Um and it's to visit. They're very happy to have them. But sometimes I feel like it's a burden. They do not see it that way mm. or I make it or I feel like mm. see I'm the one who had the kids. Yeah. Why am I handing them off to to someone else? But they're happy to help and sometimes it's because I'm working mm. uh, on a Sunday and mm. maybe also she is working. Sometimes it's that we just want to have a good time or we I want to go on a trip with Shiv. But in my mind I'm like they are my children. Why am I why am I Yeah leaving them there or why am i making someone else's problem mm. to take care of them mm. why didn't you have a plan in the first place exactly mm. or why don't i have a plan that does not Involve. inconvenience, mm. inconvenience mm. other people mm. okay mm. um another mm. one that i think ivy zone who's been <laughs> really drilling into me is if you need if you need help financially yeah i remember you saying um uh, your dad taught you if you can't ask as an entrepreneur Mm. there's something how is that how is, how is it stated? Uh, you're, you're literally a beggar 
Yeah. You're, constantly, you're literally a fucking beggar. Yeah. And yeah. you're an entrepreneur, you're not begging, my friend. Yeah. You're I begging the bank to control. finance your yeah. projects. Yeah. You're begging family to give you capital for your projects. Yeah. You're begging your clients to pay you on time to give you deposits so you can exactly. finance the project. So you so yeah. begging might be harsh and I, I don't like thinking it's harsh, but it, it is exactly. Mm. And it's exactly that. Yeah. You see, even for example, this one of asking for money that is yours. Mm. Asking for a mm-hmm. deposit, mm-hmm. is it not my money? It's my money. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, learning like clients. Exactly. And then you're like, where is my payment? Mm. Yeah. Then another influencer saying, ah, me, I don't even invoice them until after three months. Uh, yes. I'm like, Beep, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 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 I yeah. think the, the, the and learning is the feeling shame asking. Asking for help. Yes. And 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 the learning there is I mean, everyone asks, everyone needs help. Mm. Yeah. Everybody needs help. Mm. Yeah. I don't know when it is with children, especially when it became the mother's problem or the parents' problem. Because before, wasn't the philosophy it takes a village? Mm. It, was a it village. does it take, take a village. village. This thing of you have your children die with them, I don't know. I don't know, you know uh, what that is. Because I remember when I was... You your entire life mm, now. When mm. I was going, I was like, would you check on my kids? Like I asked. I was just like, yeah. if you have the time, just see if you can check on them, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I too feel just a little bit of whatever asking, but not as much, honestly. Yeah, mm. yeah. And it's weird because I know, I know it's not a bother. Mm. I know I can ask Jules for help with something and I can ask you for help with something, mm. but I'll die with my cross. Mm. Yeah. I don't think, I think you, there's very many people like you. Yeah. 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 That are dying with their crosses. There's very, very, very mm. many. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But how, how I manage that is having a few people in my circle. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's funny because my circle is so small. Too. <laughs> is that like triangle? two or three, it's a triangle. <laughs> I'm very joking. few people in my triangle that I can trust with that vulnerability to mm-hmm, ask. Mm-hmm. So I know they will not use it against me later. Mm-hmm. I know they will not make me feel like shit for asking. Mm-hmm. They will just and give it in. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Telling, exactly. Mm-hmm. And when they ask, I'm also very willing to give. So it's a, it's exactly. a quid pro quo. Yes, so that's yes, how yes, I manage yes, that yes. thing okay. of asking. I don't ask everybody. Yes. There's very few people. And also asking people who I know would give. Okay. Mm, if okay. I I know, if I need this, that's a person. If I need this, that's a person like that. So that's how... Okay. It, maybe it'll help you when it comes to your managing how to get better at asking. And it has even made me think of what I was going to say as um, one other unlearning mm. is, you see though you're saying you can ask someone. Now for me, if I do find myself, if I do get myself to asking you, mm. I will feel like I owe you. Mm. So it will constantly be in my mind, Ivy helped me that thing, Ivy helped me that thing. Mm. What what can I help her with? I, I so that it becomes, we are back to a blank mm. slate. Ah, but I'm so like that, that as well. To mm. balance. Yeah. To, to balance sense, it out. Mm. Okay, because I was going to say, um, the other thing I was going to say I'm trying to unlearn is feeling like I owe everyone who's been Helpful. nice to me. Oh. Or help, or has, has gone further than human decency. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. someone who's been kind okay. to me. And you, okay. you cannot, you cannot give back to every single person who has been nice to you. No. Let it go. And you can't expect everyone to give back after you've... Exactly. Okay, okay, mm. I get you. Let's back to see Kwana Roho Safi. Oh, I don't even know. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Jules. Um, I mean, Kwana Nyingi, so I'm just going to skim through them. Um, I wrote them down in this little tiny piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. Something I'm trying to unlearn, um, and this is not something I'm trying to unlearn now, it's something I've been trying to unlearn for years, years, mm. years, years, is um, pessimism mm. and looking at the glass half empty empty mm. i do have my optimistic moments mm. um but i see the problems first mm. it's like i'm more comfortable knowing where the issues are rather than mm. saying it's okay let's just go we'll figure it out i'm just mm-hmm. like nah just hold wait, oh, 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 back it up back it up back it up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so um i like hanging out with People who are more the Glass opposite of full. me. Glass are full. People. Yeah, because I know I have that in me and I tend to mirror what I have around me. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that's something I'm trying to learn. Like, and, and let me tell you, this thing now, it manifests in other ways. I've realized something I'm like, I don't like this. Like, I'll complain. Like, I'm having a shit day. Mm-hmm. I'm having a good day and I know how to celebrate that. I'm like, yeah. yes, this is a good day. I love it. Yeah. That's something I needed to learn. Because mm. I'm always like, it's good, but. When is the next shoe gonna mm. drop? But complaining. So, and I don't want to burden the people around me with, ah, imagine this client has done this. And then can you imagine, yeah. Shadow is still doing this and brought a dead bird to the house. And then, imagine, ah, I can't wait this day. Oh my God, like imagine, Z. Mm. Yeah. Uh-uh. It's not, what? No, mm. like, 
and I don't mean die with your problems, but yeah. what does complaining help with? So for me, yeah. that's half empty. Um, sometimes I can really complain about a situation and I repeat it because that's how it is in my head. It's, yeah. it's replaying. Mm. How could they do this? Mm. How could this happen? Mm. Can you imagine? What would you do? Like, now just chill. Like, yeah. like stop. Because, yeah. Okay. Now there, I would, I would, I would wonder where is the balance. You know, there sometimes you just need to vent. Yeah. So, so maybe sometimes you just need to vent. So instead sometimes of instead of it to vent, but complaining, you know, this is now when it's a habitual thing. When you, okay. Let me I tell you, it. when you because first of all, when you have that awareness, like I need to stop doing this, mm. then you 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 know your inner voice. Mm. It will tell you up as a sun. You'll hear, and most yeah. of the time you ignore it. It's such a small thing. When you're letting you in a rant, you know, not venting, you're in a verbal diarrhea of like, yeah. but they pack this shit and then this, this happened, bitch, first of all, and then this nigga, and then this whatever, yeah. and then my boss, and then, hey, imagine it's a, uh, something, there's something will tell you, mm-mm, chill, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. but then you ignore it, stop, you bulldoze stop. through it. Yeah. So now I'm trying to listen to that more, yeah. because sometimes I, I, I don't know if that now being risk averse, I'm just like, nah what's the catch here? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm trying to unlearn that. I'm just like, just ch- just chill. I don't know what else to say, guys. Just okay. chill. Okay. Mm. Just chill. Just chill. Venting is venting. You know venting? Babe, if you're venting to me every day, then you're complaining. That's true. If That's you need true. to offload mm. yeah. as your pal, I'll mm. be like, babe, let it out. Yeah. Mm. Talk all the shit you want. Mm. Smack, uh, talk about all that smack about that mm. person. Get it out of your system. Let's unpack it here. Yeah. yeah. But now if you call me on Monday, Tuesday, if when I see she calling, I'm just like, oh God, I need to emotionally prepare for this mm. phone call because this babe, that's complaining. Julie, I don't know if, and learning thing, I don't know if this makes sense. Remember, yeah, you call, this you is what makes sense to me when it comes to the complaining because I also realized um, that I used to do that a lot, especially with Sheik's. Um, oh, like you'd call Sheik's to vent. Yeah. Mm. If I'm in an unhappy place, Sheiki would be my venting point. Mm. Forgetting mm. that I have a journal. And it's so funny that you've said this now because the exercises in my guided journal for the next four weeks are all about brain dumping. Mm. You pick up a piece of paper and write anything and everything. The stream oh. of consciousness. That's what they also call it. Ah. And I've done it uh, twice. Does I it did, help? My friend, it declutters your brain. Because I'm, I was, where I am right now, mm. I'm overthinking a lot of stuff in my life and in my career and that type of thing. Mm. Um, so I picked up the journaling again and I was like, you need to declutter and starts with just brain dumping. Mm. It can be as easy as just mm. writing anything that you're feeling or thinking at the time or guided by writing down uh, nouns, nouns from A to Z, foods from A to Z, just oh. decluttering your... And that helps? My friend, I felt such clarity. You know, I used wow. to do that. Like, the, 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 book, I was, the book I was reading, the talk calls it a, it's a brain dump or mm. a stream of consciousness. Mm. Don't think about grammar. Don't mm. think about punctuation. Just write for at least three pages. But I'm not yeah, sure if it helped so tough me. For me. Maybe I'll try again. It even tells you the pages. Mine just says write. Mm. Mm. Because guys, remember, we learned journaling helps you understand yourself. Then eventually when you read back, you're like, okay, because I needed to declutter. So when I wrote down all these things, I was just like, everything I put down here, you just need to take one step and a lot of the stuff will fall into place. It's not about, because ah. once when you have a lot of clutter, you can't even take that first step to make that. Yeah, mm. they're just all over the place. It's all over the place. So like when the I decluttered, I was like, mm. why am I overthinking all this? If I just take this step to do this, yeah. and then a time was only before I got um, my new PA. So I was jumbled. So when I realized, okay, align your series, make the calls when the steps fell into place i was just like my god it was simple that yeah. brain dump was just so perfect okay. so maybe okay. wow. instead of that, that thinking of the complaining write just write what you're thinking because you need to get that stuff out out, out of your but brain but just write it down yeah write it down and talk to someone once or twice out, then that's how it's exactly in your body. Festers, disease festers, exactly yeah. you get sick do your head is paining exactly. your gut your yeah exactly. then it goes back to your passive aggression ah. then now you can't communicate effectively then, then you're then, sleeping the whole day ah, sad. my god <laughs> then your cat comes you just want to you on guy today <laughs> Just like, no, I've never felt that. Ah. You know, me, I sometimes oh. I can take one to take my kids, oh, throw them the like fuck out the, out the window, get out. Mm. Ah. Okay, yeah, I felt that. Yeah. I felt that. It's I'm like, normal, baby. Yeah. No, we are not parents. Not actual no, dying. Like, not actual, not actual, actual dying. 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 No, that time is okay. That but I've learned to walk away. This that time I was really shouting at Shadow. I think we had a for like a week. He was even he used to see me. He's just like he's a bit scared. And I was like, because I used to come, he's in the kitchen eating all my cookie oil. Three times, four times. Cooking. Excuse so me. So now I hide cooking, cooking oil. oil. I hide the food. 
he Babe, how does cut, the cookie he, he's like this that's like this then he starts lamba 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 then i find it there on the floor oh, my flower vase is like this oh, oh, and he's so sweet first of all <laughs> So now we're mm-hmm. now like now he, yeah so he's walking I'm just like shadow he goes I know where he's hiding in, so, the in the shadows in the shadows in the shadows just see two, two yellow eyes like this <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like where where it was like sorry mom yeah. anyway yeah. That's, I don't know I should not okay. compare animals with humans but yeah no but I, I saw many of your experiences and even Lorna's with your cats yeah you're like, like kind of, I can literally yeah. give you a, a situation where I experienced yeah. the exact same thing yeah. Yeah. with one of my children ah, man. it's crazy yeah it's crazy mm. I'm like can you be like your mother she's mm. very respectful uh, look, look. <laughs> Like I'm just transferring generational trauma Aki. to my cat, to your cat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I cannot just relate. Somehow, someone have anything else to add? Because oh. I have. All right. Oh. So something else I'm trying to unlearn is, um, um, and I think I'm getting better at this, but yeah. busy body, acting busy, oh. and trying to look like you're trying to, you're doing everything. Oh, um, wow. Because. <gasps> Gosh, I feel like you're singing into my soul right. at some of these points. Okay, like, okay. you know, and maybe maybe when nobody's watching, it's mm. you. Mm. You're like, let me open the laptop. Mm. Let me do this. Mm. Let me go cook. Let, let me cut start three, five, five different things. Let me go to the supermarket at the same time. Yeah. Let me make the bed. Yeah. Let me feed the cats. Yeah. Let me journal. Mm. Let me, let me, let me, let me mm. imagine. Just, just sit and do sit nothing. Sit and do nothing mm. for 30 minutes. Mm. Do nothing. Sit. Mm. Sit and sit on the balcony, look yeah, at the 100%. trees. Then I'll come and do all those things. And I love that you said it's not even ati for somebody. So it's not ati in an office setting. You know, there, there is that video for ati. If you want to look busy, busy no, no. <laughs> no. So it's not that. It's for you yourself. But exactly what you're saying, it just makes you do, you start many different things, but you're not being, you're not actually being productive. Yeah, oh. yeah. So feeling the need to always be busy, feeling the need to always be in a heightened state of anxiety because that is what you have associated with mm. success and productivity, productivity. Mm. nah 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 you know um and uh, that's how I, i am because i like to be to be busy and having so many things then yeah. i'm there complaining but this is too much mm. like, <laughs> and then when i have nothing i'm like guy i need to start filling up things in your diary mm. what are you doing on saturday nothing mm. do you want to come no mm. but you said you're doing nothing yes mm. i know yeah. i am actually doing nothing yeah. nothing is something okay. yeah. yeah but what what has started making me feel like And anyway, it's okay to also just decompress is watching uh Shiv work. He's the first entrepreneur I've seen in action. Yeah. Me I came from 9 to 5 where I'm suffering the whole day responding to emails, sijakula lunch, I haven't what, I haven't what, very busy. But watching the way Shiv works, I mean his day will start at 5 a.m. He'll go, he'll train, he'll train his clients, he'll walk the dog, he'll do all the things he needs to do. He'll sit down, do emails and he'll even sit down and say, I'm doing emails for one hour. After that one hour is done, he'll go and play PlayStation. Yeah. He'll take a nap, yeah, and then he'll come back to it, yeah. As in, he'll actually when he doesn't feel like it's whatever he's doing is working, he'll switch to one to another thing yeah. and not feel bad about it. Yes, yes. And Which, I think that comes from that comes uh, as hours comes from mm, we were that nine to five, that nine to five, and the, the culture, you know, the marketing environment. Mm, I think it's a, very high. There's a culture. It's, it's that many tasks, many tasks, mm. and you have to yeah. be writing very many emails and you're tapping on your keyboard. Mm. Mm. You're to do this three, mm. three, yeah. three pages, culture. yeah, yeah. 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 three pages for you to feel like it's a productive yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But whereas a day can actually be what you're saying, it can be sitting an ideation. Dude, how the fuck are you going to shoot five videos yeah. if you have not sat Taken down the time to and see. created yeah. and, and that sit, that, that uh, ideas mm. don't they come from nothing doing mm. nothing. Like okay you can be doing something and an idea comes. Exactly. You can be showering. I mean mine come in the shower quite often. Exactly. Yeah, you know? But yeah, you ca- it's not it's like I'm shooting, I'm recording, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Me, me, first of all, if somebody's telling me it looks like that, I'm like, maybe there's somebody else doing for you your ideas. It, mm. For me, I don't think it's possible. Mm. Anyway, but yeah, I want to adopt that. I want to adopt that. Of course, I want and to be okay my, with it. Be, be okay with it. Of course, I want to meet my financial obligations. 100%. I want to do all those things. But I also want to, I want to be okay with, with doing nothing. Mm. And not feel guilty. It's me. Um, mm. It's not for uh, performance issues. Mm. I mean... Showing you Other maybe people. I live with you mm. or whatever. No, it's mm. for me. I'm just like, what yourself. are you up to today? Because me and somebody asked me what I'm up to. I want to always have an answer, mm. and I want to be like nothing. Mm. But now, because I've said nothing, please don't tell me we do something. Yeah, like, yeah. For real, I'm doing, doing nothing, nothing doesn't mean you're available. I'm available. Just say yeah. I'm not available. Are you free? I'm not. I don't free. know. I'm learning. I'm learning and learning. That yeah, way. productivity okay. anxiety. Maybe it's a trauma yeah. response from our. When from our ages, yeah, from our ages, yeah, from our ages, yeah, yeah, bra. <laughs> um, 
So mm. another thing I'm trying to unlearn is, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. So filling up empty spaces in conversation with commentary, mm. like, because I talk okay. a lot. So sometimes okay. I'm talking to somebody and then they're like, yeah, um, then I'm like, yeah, like that's, I try to finish for them because I'm worried that they are worried. That, oh, I don't I worry about the silence. I worry about the silence. I feel so like it'll be awkward. So I, I need to say something. I need to say something. Oh, okay. So, so I type that with better listening. I just want to be quiet and fill the gaps. And when I do that, let me tell you, everything inside me is like, <laughs> <laughs> But after that, I'm like, I'm so glad I said nothing. Yeah, no, yeah. it's so hard. But when I'm just there, I'm always feeling it. Baby, it can be so tiring sometimes because you have to think of things. What do I say? What do I say here? Oh, me, that comes so easily. I can't oh, think of maybe so many I can't things. find the thing, but I know I need to find a thing. You need to your stress. So I'm stressed, babe. <laughs> I'm stressed. Yeah, and it happens. It's not even with strangers. Even just your no, own friends. No, even friend. with friendships. Like you're talking, and you're like, ah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, yes, yeah, you, uh, you're engaging, and you're trying to respond, and you're like, mm. oh my god, everyone's quiet. Oh my god, did you watch it yesterday, babe? I saw it. an episode we shot recently and I was like I was speaking way too much <laughs> and like I was like that is not me yeah. and I could tell I was really trying to fill gaps yeah because I think the energy on set that day guys were tired or something so yeah. I was just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were trying to, to cover the gaps you were, you were yeah, that's what you're trying yeah I was response. sweating yeah. yeah but yeah so better listening mm-hmm. and and keeping quiet and not Like even when, like even when like fans come to say hello, because yeah. I, 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 I can see how nervous they are. I'm just like, it's okay. How are you? I mean, yeah. I'll be quiet now. Hi, what's up? I need to stop. I think it's a people pleasing thing, Basi. I don't know. I feel like it might. Much, be. But I want to have. First of all, I want to have better listening skills. Mm-hmm. I okay. see the value in it, but it's so hard. Like I'm still learning. It doesn't come naturally. I know. Me, I think when I get your point, I'm like, alright. So then, what we're saying is okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And finally. Mm-hmm. Um. This is not something that I I, I I battle with a lot, but at times it comes and goes. Eh? Mm-hmm. Scarcity mentality. Mm. I thought of Ivy when I was writing this. Um, and this is very the, uh, this one is very much tied to half glass half empty. Yeah, yep. 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. Because yep. I, I I don't feel like I have a problem being optimistic when it comes to money coming into my life. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, like I I am okay, but then um, when things are not going according to plan mm-hmm. i'm just like oh shit mm-hmm. now we need to act busy now mm-hmm. we need to do this or not act busy like mm-hmm. do the most because i imagine doing the most will give we'll, me the we'll most get you where you need to oh you know maybe oh actually maybe observing somebody who is very very looking very busy body mm-hmm. and saying for me to get there i need to do that okay. so it's so 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 i don't know what that is but the yes, scarcity mentality in the sense in the in the sense in the sense of mm. yeah just being worried that If they get it, and I don't, then I'm forgoing, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I don't think it's something I something I battle with greatly, but I've sometimes. gone through. You know, it happens sometimes now when when shit is going, when I'm like, oh my god, yeah, things are drying up. Yeah, <gasps> I'm like, how comes I can't have that same energy, Mikiwa, mm. when things are up? Because in fact, when mm. things are down, is when I really need it. Mm. Mm. Is when I really need to really believe need to show up. Yeah, because to... we are all entrepreneurs. Yeah, we we are. Kind of like in the gig economy, I would say the, mm-hmm. the, the three of us. Yeah, um, we have irregular income, mm-hmm. but we have regular expenses. Mm-hmm. 100%. And I expect you can have a lot of money. Somebody dumps for you a lot of mm. very big invoice. Yeah. So it's like, how do I deal with that? And Life is not good. panicking. Mm. In fact, that's it. Panicking like, oh my god, now that every I know there's going to be a dry season coming up. Yeah. So I must. I don't know what mm. I'm trying to say, but mm. yeah, I want to be calm. I want to be easy. I want to have a very good relationship with um, money and resources and mm. people. Mm. Yes, that's what I'm trying to unlearn and just be chill. You want, to be, you want to be calm and easy when it comes to matters of money. Yes, I okay. want to because I'm calm and easy when things are good. I'm yeah. like, yeah, 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 man. And I, it's like that really multiplies yeah. my my money because mm. I'm already in such a good space. So it's like mm. ten proposals I can do it. Yeah. yeah, and then sometimes you know you get like a stroke of bad luck, mm. and it's like okay, somebody has paused this campaign yeah. or. Maybe you're expecting this one oh to come gosh, because because somebody mm-hmm. calls you and somebody needs your help financially mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and it happens to me and it's somebody I had to help mm-hmm. so I'm like I right, I'm sending you this amount of money because mm-hmm. I maybe I'm expecting this I love you ikuji yeah so you're like fuck I don't mm-hmm. want to be like that because mm-hmm. it gives me sleepless nights mm-hmm. I've realized hey the fear of failure is so mm-hmm. big in me mm-hmm. yeah okay I feel you I want to be I want to be have I want to have a good relationship with money I don't know if I've made Made sense. 
You've made sense. Yeah, I don't want to be scared around it. I, I don't want it to you be... You don't tiptoe around t- money. Tiptoe around it. Yeah. yeah. Be worried about it. Oh. Not be worried. Or then when it's there, I'm like, okay, now we must hold it. We must because, do this. Because the dry season... Yeah, come, like, like I just want to again. be... Yeah, I want it. I want that relationship to be different. Oh. Uh, me too, babe. I don't, I, I, I don't think I'm worried about you. Because if it's something at least you, you recognize, it's like... It's that you know that you have regular income and regular expenses and you know how to work around that. But the personality you are in terms of money, I think you're very medium to low risk appetite when it comes to investments, that type of thing. You're a person yeah. who needs just a good emergency fund. Right. You, right. You're just someone who needs to sit knowing I this, have this something so that when these things come, you it's okay to panic. It's okay. Because it drives you. We, we are not calm people. I can't really, because I was like, you want to be calm, but is that... She is a well, calm one. Mm. Even she panics, she panics calmly. Me, I'm, yeah. I can, I'm those people who can jump out of bed. Out to Adi, babe, same. Mm. <laughs> and, and, and I get the sweat. And I'm like, hey, you're like, shit, <laughs> Oh my God. I'm like, wait, wait, goodness. <laughs> no, pretty woman, then. <laughs> Your, your and then, and my, I like my food. I actually do sometimes like uh, so I'm not, I'm not calm that way but I feel like you the type of person you are yeah if you sit on like a bed of a good emergency fund mm. and then because you, you're a planner also so you know okay I like to have these trips and you have that kind of, I think that will make it easier for you I think the anxiety comes when it's not there so you, you're a person who you just need to okay. figure, figure fix out your emergency, your emergency fund. fund and then I think you're also very long term so if you know that in 20 years I'm getting these 30 millions or whatever I think you'll be fine Hey, maybe I need to have a side chat with you. Mm, yeah. You want a candle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, then I'll, I'll, I can hook you up with you know, mm. investment coaches, wealth managers. It's fine. I think you... Yeah, I'm not worried you don't think... You. Yeah, I don't, okay. I'm not worried about you. Because even from Kitambo, you'll just be like, you know, I think about my parents. We'll have enough money to take care of them. And I know mm. you'll be putting it aside. So maybe we'll just beef it up. And then I think you'll yeah. be... Fine. I, babe, you know, I don't think I'm worried about Should you. Should be fine. Mm-mm. I think your relationship with money is going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Are you feeling a bit more glass money, half mama, full? Mama, mama, money, money has told me that. I guess I'm alright. <laughs> Man, let me tell you. That it's label. Been... Mama, money, Monday. Oh my God, it it's haunts a, me. It's I literally just said, but it's beautiful. It really fucking haunts me. Mm. No, because I... I that, that's why I fear failure. Like, I, it oh. really fucking haunts me. Like, I... Ah. But you know the one thing... But you've been spent so many. So many. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the other thing that I love is every time we're it's having a conversation pressure. that goes money in the direction of money, it's it's very clear that you've invested in the knowledge. In the knowledge. Mm. Yes, she's invested in her. Yeah. Mm. So, yes, you are, Mama Money Money. You are. She's in always fact, in I think it came from, I don't know anything about that. What does that mean? I don't know. Do, yeah. do you now remember? you're being told, mm. appetite, she nini, nini. Nothing. Mm. No, I mm. even remember the that time we went for lunch at Sunny, Honey and Do, whatever that place is. And you were com- you're asking questions. I'm like, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Mm. And then now, nowadays, you're like, yeah, at you guys, we need to put money in our MMF. Now when they said it, I went for a training the other day and they were like, you must put your money in MMF. I said, I know I this. So, <laughs> yeah, I was already told. <laughs> I was already told. <laughs> But I, I didn't do it myself. Uh, but as my friends, I need you guys, like, if I'm broke or if I'm, I'm in trouble, it, the Money Monday label has to has be, to be dropped. dropped. Okay. Thank yeah. you for mm-hmm. saying that. Mm-hmm. Thank it you for can't communicating. Be, yeah, because I can never, I feel like sometimes I can never tell you guys if I'm in financial problems or anybody. Me, in fact, how they have Money Monday me, have yeah. financial fact, constraints? You right, know, right, right, look at your Money right, Monday right, is right. solely on the knowledge. Okay, good. Me, it's, it's, it's a knowledge <laughs> thing. It's not even a, it's not a Money ma, uh, Mama Monday as in your Miss Money Bags, mm. Money Monday. Mm. It's the knowledge around mm. money, Good. finances. Okay. That makes I hope you are yeah. that. Yes. But the fuck I'm not rich. Yeah. So I also I'm learning. I also to support Ivy. <laughs> yeah. Ivy says that she is on a journey. Yeah. Yep. And I, what I understood by that is you always had an interest in growing yourself, yeah. uh, to growing wealth, yeah. mm. growing wealth, growing wealth. Mm. And you decided to put, to create, to use your platform as that. Mm. So as she's people need to mm. see her, you need to see her as you literally, she's on a journey and you're all on a journey. Like this her. together. Yes. Not that she's over there. And, and, and the fact that she came up. from not knowing, not knowing, bonds, stocks. In fact, I did even say, told me way before you. There are things mm. I knew that you didn't know. Mm. And I was, I think what I'm remembering is me telling you something about me. You're like, mm, yeah, I need to know that. And then now you're like, you know, you know, you know. Mm. So you see, you have something you have it. invested in yourself. Mm. Yeah, and that's who you're continuing to be. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, um, but and but when I tell you when Mama Mommy Monday, Mama Money Monday has said this, mm. it because you hold authority in that space. Yeah. Now I've gone from 
Mm-hmm. Not you know, right. seeing you as somebody who is not yet sure <laughs> to see you as somebody who when you say that there's mm-hmm. something you know I don't know so mm-hmm. surely I mean so surely I must yeah. and, and you trust it, it. like and when, I trust when, it. when when yeah. I talks about money I don't feel oh I need to go and double check double that check. Oh. like I I, well, I cool. trust I trust yeah. your opinion that's cool. Yeah. So go forth then. Money Monday. Ah, money Monday. Multiple. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. Let's, it was cool. Do you have right. um before before TN start? Mm. Uh, anybody with anything else to add? That's a nice note to. End it's on. a very nice note to end, but it's reminded me of something mm. else, which is just the labels. So remember we were having lunch the other day at Oyster, mm. and I was telling you guys mm. that I'm learning carrying labels on my back, like I that label of strong black woman. I take it off me, <sighs> like. Yeah. Do you know nowadays I actually don't I I I I, I don't feel. Like I don't celebrate being told your your super mom. Like mm. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes mm. nowadays it makes me feel some. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. I'm learning carrying it with pride, like strong black woman, because it's it's used against you. It's people. This, this is why you have difficulty asking. Mm. I'm a, I'm a strong black woman. Why? Mm. Why? Why would I ask? You know. Mm. So that's something I just wanted to say. After we said the label okay. for Money Monday, it's just I'm I'm warding off labels that don't serve me. Right. It's, okay. It's, right. it's not a must. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, well, you have educated us through Money Monday, but that's hundred percent. You have empowered us. You have shown us. Oh, you mean this is how people do Oh, you have yeah. inspired. You have motivated. Yeah. And I think you've also gained some motivation yourself. I oh, hundred percent. And lessons. People have met. Man. Hey, me, yeah. met. Your network has grown. Man. Yeah. 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 I think that's yeah. it for me. Yeah. I, I just hope that I'll be able to. To not just say this on our 25 mm-hmm. and then go back home and I'm like mm-hmm. passive aggressive, pack this shit, niggas ain't shit. I'm wap. complaining, petty wap. Like I want to yeah. actually walk the talk. Yeah, yeah. Walk the talk. Yeah. Walk the walk. Walk, walk the talk. The talk. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to be. I want to come back here at 45 mm-hmm. and I'm like things and I'm. Things mm. I'm unlearning. You had 45. You've done like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is like error, 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 and be like, oh girl, yeah. you did something. Mm, yeah, I like think that's you... the other thing about this platform: the fact that we put out these things. <laughs> mm, forces like a... you to. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Forces you to. To do the work. It's a time capsule. To do the work. It's a beautiful time capsule. We should do that. A letter to our forty old selves. Yeah. Oh, and then from and our forty old selves. And then but we should it. we should shoot it now. Mm. Then we don't publish it until we are. 40 mm. and we're like this is what we said from this day so and then you know our channel will be in the metaverse that's where we'll be posting these things can we, ske- can, can we schedule it for <laughs> for six years from now <laughs> 10 years let's do 10 years 10 years that's oh, another time capsule yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh wow. I think this is one of those episodes where eh, we really come and undress ourselves on the internet. My huh? friend, I'm feeling nix. Yeah, such yeah, episodes. Now like once Wanini goes to edit them, I'm usually like, oh, do I even want to read? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want yeah. to say. But it was so good. But it was beautiful. It was, so it was also a fantastic conversation. Yeah. Um, please feel free to let us know the things that you are currently and learning oh. at whatever stage of life you are at. We know we have 21 year olds, we know we have 45 year olds and everything in between so please feel free to share with us yeah because there might be somebody else who is experiencing what you're experiencing and sometimes it's just nice to know that somebody else is like you like the way i've i've, I've really been there are so many things julia, yeah, julia i'm just like Church, <gasps> and then you can just support her yeah i'm just like to empath you nice yeah. <laughs> why are you shouting at me shouting? <laughs> julia has really shouted that to me today <laughs> Yeah, so sometimes it's just nice to know that someone yeah. else is going through the same things you're going through. Yeah. 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 Thank you and for your authenticity, guys. Yeah. Yeah, mm. and for just and, being and real and raw and yeah, cuz yeah. yeah, it's mm. important. Yeah, it can be difficult. So again, thank you for making it to this far in the episode. If you enjoyed the conversation, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe, you still can do it and it's still free right there. Share this video with a friend who you think it might benefit and engage with us in the comments and until next time or a nene huh? Oh, share it with a nene. <laughs> oh, with a nene. However you feel. <laughs> a friend of me. Share with whoever you feel like you want to share with. Um till next time. Bye. <laughs>